The runners traveled to Kern Valley for their last away game of the season. Kern Valley kicked open up the game and the opening kickoff was bobbled by number 80, Sergio Arzeda, and recovered by Kern Valley. But on the first play of Kern Valley's drive, number 11, Kyle Emery, was hit by Cody Lloyd and fumbled the ball, and the ball was recovered by Julian Olmos. On the runner's possession, Brendan Facey would get this handoff off the right side for about four yards. On third down, Michael Sturgill rode out to his left and was dropped for his sack, which forced a Roseman punt. On Kern Valley's possession, number seven, Mark Eisenhower took this handoff 13 yards for a Kern Valley first down. Later in the drive, Mark Eisenhower again got the handoff and got another first down. A few plays later, Kyle Emery dropped back to pass and his pass was intercepted by Michael Sturgill at the three yard line. On the runner's possession, Nick Lloyd got this handoff up the middle for six yards. On the next play, Keith Murphy got this handoff off the right side for four yards. A few plays later, Elijah Nod got a handoff up the middle, which gave the runners a first down. On third down, Michael Sturgill rolled out to his left and got a great block from Curtis McCann, but he was dropped short of the first down. On Kern Valley's possession, Anthony Hernandez caught this pass, but the ball was stripped by Nick Lloyd. But on two consecutive plays, Elijah Nod and Nick Lloyd would be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. On the Bronx possession, Kyle Emery would find Warren Pappas for a Kern Valley first down. On the next play, Warren Pappas got this handoff off the right side and was knocked out of bounds by Nick Lloyd. On the next play, Mark Eisenhower dropped back to pass and found Jordan Lawson inside the 10-yard line. A few plays later, Warren Pappas would take it in from three yards out for the first score of the night. Before the half, Curtis McCann would get this handoff for seven yards. But on the last play of the half, Curtis McCann would be stopped after about a one-yard gain. Coming out of the locker room, quarterback Kyle Emery found Anthony Hernandez for a Kern Valley first down. Jordan Lawson would get this screen pass and get five yards and then be knocked out of bounds. Warren Pappas would get this handoff for a Kern Valley first down. And a few plays later, Kyle Emery found Jordan Lawson on the slant route, which made the score 14 to nothing. And after a Roseman punt, Mark Eisenhower would be stopped at the line of scrimmage. And on third down, Kyle Emery would drop back to pass, but he would be dropped, which forced a Kern Valley punt. And on the punt, Curtis McCann returned it 47 yards and put the ball on the 16-yard line. <laughs> on second down, Elijah Nod got this handoff for about four yards. And after a controversial spot on third down, the runners would be stopped on fourth and one. After a Roseman punt, Kyle Emery would find Jordan Lawson and put the ball on the 40-yard line. A few plays later, Travis Gibson would get this handoff for a first down. On the next play, Jordan Lawson took it off the right side for 22 yards and another touchdown and made the score 21-0. Looking to get back in the game, Michael Sturgill dropped back the pass on first down and found Curtis McCann for a new set of downs. Oh, yeah. Michael Sturgill found Sergio Arzeda on the next play for a six yard gain, but a few plays later, the runners would be forced to punt. On Kern Valley's possession, Mark Eisenhower got this handoff off the left side for six yards. The runners would get one more chance to score, but they would be stopped short of the end zone, and they fell to Kern Valley 28-0.